Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge. Welcome back to City Skylines and the No Car Challenge. And here we are. It's night time and the city looks very, very good like that. That is tremendous. That looks really cool. <laughs> that looks just great. Look at it. It's all lit up there, but there's not really that many road lights. You know, all the street lights are not really switched on because there aren't any. Uh, the only thing that, that's actually got any sort of great strip of lights is the bicycle lane that goes all the way down here to our sort of second living area, if you like, our second sort of suburban area, Forestry Village, all the way over here, which, you know, all the people here presumably work over here in Forestry Place, although not quite enough people, it seems. We might need to actually go and sort that out and put some more homes over here. And we do need a lot more residential, so it's fine. So, yes, it looks very, very good. I'm so impressed. It looks tremendous. It looks great at night time. So, uh, yes, last time out, I said that I would have a look at the spawning of cars. Because when we've come in, uh, loaded up the uh, games previously, some cars have actually been present, sort of parked up, or even moving about on our roads, which is just not acceptable. So, in the settings for the Traffic Manager President's Edition mod, there's a thing here for removed parked vehicles, which gets rid of all the cars, which is lovely. Also, I've switched on the vehicle restrictions overlay. If we just have a quick glance, rather than having to click the button in the corner, it just shows us when we've got the thing open, when we're sort of running the mod from up there. And also just here, vehicle restrictions aggression. I have put to strict. So maybe that will stop private cars appearing. So there are three things that I've tried. Well, one thing just removes them. Two other things might actually help sort of removing them entirely. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. What on earth is going on there? They are... What's that? Rubbish garbage is piling up. Oh, dear. Oh, hang on. Do I need to do something with garbage? Where's where's garbage? There, garbage. I know it's just your house. You just need to put your bins out better. Landfill usage is 54%, however. We may well need another one of those at some point. I mean, we could just put it there. We could move those things around a bit now or put it in here, maybe. That would do the job. But yeah, that's... That's a concern. That's a concern. Now, I'd like to start burning them. I'd like to start burning the rubbish to generate some lovely some lovely energy there. Might as well. Might as well get something out of it. And also, it brings that down. Brings the amount of stuff that we've got in the landfill down because we're obviously setting it on fire. So, that's fun. So, what we were doing last time was we were zoning out this new area here. A new sort of residential, urban area. We're going to have houses and stuff around here. We're going to have ourselves some office space just here, which could be very cool. Over here, not really decided. Little space here. Then some stuff down by the seafront, if you like. That could be very nice indeed. You can have houses right on the front, which would be very, very good. So you can stick some houses in or have some commercial stuff. That could be very nice. I think what we need to do first is we might need to have just have a quick look over here and just get some more residential buildings over here. I don't really think there's enough. There's not enough residential going on over here. So let's get this looked at. Let's get this looked at before we do anything else. So uh, let's go over to our paths for the moment. Yeah, we're still we're still waiting to get the decent roads with the um, uh, the lower noise pollution trees on them, basically. So it increases the land value because they've got pretty trees, and it lowers the noise pollution because there are trees in the way. But we need five thousand population. Now we're creeping toward it very slowly, but I would quite like it to hurry up. So let's expand this. Maybe out this way. Bring it out this way. We might need to uh, take out those rocks. There we go. Bye-bye, rocks. I want some rocks just there as well. So we come out this way. Now, hang on a moment. Is the natural resource to fall this way? Yeah, okay. Not that way. This way. Come out this way for all the houses. So out that way and through into here. Okay, can I keep that overlay open while I build roads? No. Oh, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Right, well, let's bring that road down to, say, there. That's quite nice. And then, oh, and then a giant curved road. Okay. Okay. Oh, that could be quite nice, though. A curved road going all the way back round to, say, there. Kind of looping up and over. Can we do that? Hang on. Let's put the let's put the curve bit there. And then, that's a straight road. I didn't mean to put a straight road in. I thought it was going to do a curved road. Uh, bish, bash, bosh, bosh. Obliterate that. <laughs> Farewell. Uh, yeah, I don't have the curved road thing selected. Uh, yeah, so if we put that, say, there... And bend it round to join that. Oh, that's quite good, isn't it? I like that. Some sad people there. Do you know what? Get over it. It's a house. It's a road, even, with some houses that are going to appear soon. You shall have to just, uh, you know, get over yourselves a little bit. We'll put that through the middle. I quite like that. That's good. And then we'll sort of come out here, maybe a little bit. We'll just have a little bit going out to, say, 
Uh, what's all? Oh, that just put a guideline in. So that's probably useful. Can we just have an art like that? Can we just have it going out like that? I quite like that. That looks really nice. And then maybe we'll connect. And then, yeah, okay, right. Okay, I'm getting a bit silly with loops. With loops and crescents. But I do like loops and crescents. <laughs> okay, and then can we have that? Kind of going round there. Oh, oh, that's a good angle. Look at that angle. Yes, please. We'll have a bit of that. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. And then, yeah, we'll just connect that bit through the middle, possibly. Like that. And that means we can get some more houses in. Because this bit in the middle here is a little bit wasted. Not really much going on in that bit of land there. So we might as well fill that up with something. That doesn't look like it's going to connect properly. Distance too short. No. Okay. Oh, wait. okay. Okay. Wants to do a curved road just there. Yep. I'm all for that. There we go. Oh, I quite like that. I like that. Imagine trying to give someone directions around here. That'd be terribly difficult. It's the third thing on the bendy bit. Oh, they're all bendy. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. So first things first. Let's see. They've got water. Right. These have not got water. So let's bring that out to there. Bring that out to there. Bring that into there. And then draw a pipe to the middle. And that's everyone with water sorted. Water pipes are fairly expensive. They're fairly expensive. I don't know if they break either. That's why I tend to sort of put redundancy in. You know, so if that, if I have one pipe going there and that broke, all the water would go from here. That's why I kind of tend to have multiple pipes. But I don't know if I need to do that. I don't know if I'm just wasting my time doing that. I have no idea. Uh, right, okay. Now, with that in mind, if all that's over there. Right, the, these things here, where's pollution? The forestry bit does not make pollution. Because it's all nice and eco-friendly. It's trees. It's trees and things that go with trees. So that doesn't make pollution. So over here, we could zone out a new industrial area. I have another forestry place. Forestry place 2, the return of the forestry place. Have that over there, maybe. Because just there is good forestry land. Look at that. Oh, particularly just here. This is absolutely ripe for forestry. So, um, yeah, let's get ourselves... Uh, you can have the road thing on. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's... Why didn't it do it before? Okay, so if we bring that out to, say, there. Oh, I like the way it changes colour as well. That's quite cool. It's a nice touch. Uh, bring that out to, say, there. And then can we then connect that up with a bit of a curve? So uh, out to, say, there and then curve it round. Like that. And then maybe bring that round from there to, say, uh, I don't know. The oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that at all. Uh, do you know what? Let's just keep it. Let's keep that, and we'll drag that round to, say, there, and then we'll put another bit through here. I can hear people screaming. People going, no, what are you doing? Your road design is absolutely abysmal. <laughs> so, yes, it probably is, but it's fine. It's a game, and it's all fine. Uh, so, let's connect that to... I can't connect that to there for some reason. I can't... Space is already occupied. Is it? You could have fooled me. Bring that round like that. There. So we can get the road in the middle. So we can have more industrial stuff. Now, how deep are we into the industrial... Oh, look at that. That whole bit and this bit here will be sort of ripe. Absolutely ripe for some lovely forestry stuff. So let's get ourselves just a straight bit of road going out. Yeah, so continuing that. So we'll just keep that going to, say, just there. And then we'll have that bit going out to, say, there. And we'll probably have a bit maybe there... Going out to, say, there. And then we can continue building that. That'll be very nice. Okay, now we need to sort this out. This is going to be this is going to be quite expensive. So let's get the houses in first. Let's do the housing bit first. Because we don't need all of that stuff to be the industry just yet. We just need to get some houses in. So, uh, yeah, let's get that as residential. All of that as residential. Blip, blop, 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 blop. All this bit along here. This whole section. Have all that little tiny square there. That can be a residential place. Yep, yeah, and you... Uh, all in there can be residential. We'll have some commercial stuff, sort of this stuff in the middle here. So we'll have that to there. Uh, there's a park there. Do I need anything else over here in terms of parks and things? Right, where's the good stuff? Yeah, so here sort of outwards. So from Ashlyn Graham Drive outwards, we just want it to be the uh, new the new sort of uh, industry area. Okay, uh, let's put a few little shops across that side as well, just to connect them up. All this can be residential. Absolutely residential everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. All of those, all of those, both of the, all of this stuff here. 
Right, pick all that. There's a little gap there, a little gap there. That can all be residential as well. On oh, nice curved road, nice crescent. Okay, let's see how that goes first. Let's see how that goes. Let's just make those residential as well. Why not? And in here, we want to get the district. We want to expand Forestry Village. So it comes out to cover that area. And probably along there to there as well. Because we're going to spread down there eventually. So Forestry Village might actually end up being quite big. That's actually going to end up being fairly big. Yeah, because all the way down there is all stuff as well. It's all sort of uh, residential stuff as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. And these people are not so keen on going to school. They're not so keen on going, you know, furthering their education. I think they're okay. School's out. They stay out. <laughs> that's it. They're not going to university. Not that we have a university yet. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so that's that done. That's that done. That's relatively expensive. Now, what I am going to have to do is go forth and do all the road stuff. Now, as you can see, look, before I'd have to go in and press the little uh, vehicle restrictions button, that's already in now. I've kind of put that onto the overlay. So I just need to go through and click it to make some changes. I need to do all these roads. So I will go and do all these roads because this could take quite some time because there's actually quite a lot of roads and quite a lot of junctions. So uh, yeah, we'll come back when all these roads have been uh, decarized. De decard? Decard. That'll do. Decard. Okay, I think that's all the roads. I think that is all the new roads down here that we've built that have now had cars banned upon them. Now, there is another thing I want to do. Because last time out, a, a, a cause of great excitement to me, we put in a cycle lane. Oh, and there's people using it. Look, a little cycle pathing. You're using it, Jeremy Price, on your bicycle, which is tremendous. So what we want to do is, I think we could extend that bike lane to come down to just here and then connect up uh, somewhere over there. Because I quite like the idea of the bike lane. Right, where was it? Where were the bike lanes? There they were. Right, bicycle path. Oh yeah, go from there and just sort of come over to here. Just join up. I mean, you can't join up with roads, which is a shame. But if we just put that there, look, just so it sort of clips into the side like that. And that joins the side of the road. And look, people can come in and then get onto the cycle path. And then go and, go and join the rest of the bike network. And eventually, my plan will be somehow... To get most areas connected up to this bicycle network. I don't know how. We might have to build over and into the end of this junction. On Winston Way to get all that done. Try and get bike lane up this side. Maybe build it round this way. I don't really know how we're going to do it. But we shall indeed do it. Also there is a pavement path. There is a pavement path. I wonder if people just want to walk down here. We could give them the option to walk over there as well. Might be quite nice. Now does that connect up with the cycle path? Yes it does. It does connect with the cycle path. I wonder if we can do something with that. I don't know. I like the idea of the, of the cycle path. I mean, the, the gravel roads do have pavements at the side of them. You are able to go and, you know, walk along the side of the road. So it's not like they can't walk. The bike path just gives them an extra sort of alternative, which is lovely. Um, okay, another thing we need to do is bus routes. Because if we're going to have a new thing going on, we might as well have some buses going on as well. So a new area. Let's have some new buses. So, okay, start there, join that bit, come round here, go uh, just there, and then go round Forestry Place, which is lovely. We'll cut into the, the middle, perhaps, into there, uh, onto this side of the road. I must remember that the, it's all the right-hand drive stuff here. It's all right-hand drive. Okay, down into there, cut through here, and uh, how about along there to there, look. And then round to here. And then... Uh, can we complete that line? Okay, no, they're on the uh, they're on the right, aren't they? Oh, that's just annoying. I've kind of started it going the wrong way. Okay, there. And then, do you know what? Uh, and then finish the line. That'll do. <laughs> it's not the most elegant, but it'll work. There we go. So that's fine. So what we need to do now is... We need to switch this on. Move time forward. See what happens. Hopefully this will work. Now, do I want to just throw a quick park down? Do I want to put a park there? Just a tiny park, a small park. Where have we not got anybody living? Okay, over here. How about a small park in the middle of here? Oh, it'd be good if you could get a small park in the middle there. Just cutting into here and use up that bit of space. That would be good. Right, can we do that? Is, is that even possible? Or am I just, just pipe dreaming it? So if we had that going to, say, there, like that, and then we put a small park in there... Is that... Is, I mean, it looks horrendous. Uh, can we put that... Oh, my God. Okay. The small park is not that small. Okay, the small park is huge. The small park is big. 
Right. Okay. That that was a waste then. That was a waste of everybody's time. Demolish that. Demolish that. Uh, come out of the build thing. The road build thing. Wherever that's gone. There it is. Uh, check that road requirements again. No, they're still good. They're still good. Right. Then go back to that. Oh, it's perfectly slotted back to how it was. Okay, that's fine. Right, so let's get the alleged small park in. Uh, to entertainment 100, it costs 80 a week. It costs 1,000 to put in right now. Let's just pop it just there. There we go. Beautiful. And now we're going to move time on. We're going to keep an eye on the power. Oh, the power? Oh, no, we're absolutely fine for power. I do not need to care about power at all. I don't need to even give a monkeys. Okay. So let's watch people move into here. Our population should go up. It should go up. I imagine it should go up to maybe 4,000. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know how many people live here. But there you go. Um, the mayor just announced that our beautiful city won the most attractive city award. Where? Yay! Do I get money for that? Can I have some money for that, please? I'd love some money for that. That would be splendid news. Right, okay. Let's push time on. Let's go really fast. Now, water may also be a concern. Because water was coming down in terms of what we had, in terms of capacity. But no, no, it's absolutely fine. So, yeah, let's go to 3,500 and something. Money should hopefully be coming in from all these new people coming in. Yep, there we go. Money's going up. Population's going up. Hopefully, the little job symbols on these buildings will clear off at some point soon. Because we're now putting workers nearby. And the workers can either get the bus or they can walk. Because it's not that far away. Oh, we could, yeah, we could put a bicycle lane. Can we expand the bicycle lane to hop it over there and then go round here and along to down here? Oh, that would be excellent. Let's do that. That's a fun thing. Uh, right, let's put time to normal while we muck about doing this. Right, bicycle lane. Um, we're going to have to... Uh, the only thing is raising it over the road was a bit of a pain, wasn't it? It might have to come back round on itself. To then go back round and across there. Because, yeah, it was a bit of a fiddle before. Let's start it this way, anyway. Let's start it over here. And we'll have the bike lane going like that. And then we'll have... Oh, oh yes. Where do they get their power from? Where is this place entirely powered from? Oh, yeah. That one thing. If we knock that down, that's probably a bad thing. <laughs> I would say that's not going to help anybody. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh, Residential demand has been met. We have more demand for commercials. Okay, let's put some commercial zone stuff in then. Whilst they're wanting it, let's put some stuff in. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, all it's all full. It is all full. Um, right, let's put commercial. Uh, not there. That's a silly idea. Oh, maybe across there. No, the bike lane's going to go there. The bicycle lane's going to go there. Let's put commercial uh, there and there. Because why not? That's nice. And let's maybe let's get the bicycle lane coming around this way and going over. That might work better. So let's get our bicycle lane. Have a twirly road. Go that way and then kind of bend it like that to there. And then I think we want a straight road. And then we need to elevate it up. So the space is already occupied, it says there. So yeah, can we have it going across the thing? Yeah, like that. That's perfect. Just like that. So that's gone across the road. And now we want to bring it back. I know we can have it going high up for a bit. Behind the fire station. And then back down to say. Uh, there. And then we need to then put it up again. Across this row. So is that going to be enough? To raise it up. Uh, yep. Yeah, beautiful. And then you know what? straight back down actually. That can just be a little, a little teeny tiny bridge. Like that. Uh, and then it can just sort of settle just there, like that. And then they can join the main road just there and go about their business. So, yeah, now they can cycle all over the place. They can cycle. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Look at that. It's a proper cycle path thing. It's brilliant. There's people cycling just there. Hang on, hang on. Pause. Pause for one moment there. Hang on a moment. What's going on there? You. What are you on? A bicycle. You're on a, you're, oh right, you're just a child. I was thinking, hang on a minute, you're on like some sort of motorbike. But no, but look, they're on the cycle path. They're actually using the cycle path. Oh, it's very popular, the cycle path. There's at least three people on it, which I think makes it popular. So that's fun. Oh, this is tremendous. Okay, this little bit here is working well. There's lots of houses. Population's going to 3,678 and it's growing. We've got a nice bit of money. 
I think we maybe start working on our bit over here. Uh, eventually, eventually, we will get this. 7,500 people required. We will get the high density residential stuff, which obviously boosts our population a ludicrous amount because that's big, big towers, basically. Big sort of apartment blocks and stuff. Whereas this stuff here is, you know, individual homes on individual property. But, um, yeah, we'll get that eventually. What I might do is build a big thing like that down here. So build a big sort of uh, high-rise bit down here on the coast. Look, because there's a coastal bit there. And there's all nice beach stuff. But, yeah, we do want to get over there. Uh, not there. That's pollution land. We don't want to go to pollution land. <laughs> Ignore pollution land. So what have we got? What do we have? I think maybe we get ourselves a little bit more industry over here. Get ourselves some industry. Yes, there's a park in the middle of it. That's absolutely fine. It's lovely. It's green industry. Look, it's all lovely. So, pause time a second. We'll zone this out as a uh, district like that. Uh, the Aspen district? No. I don't think... Okay, that's not done it as two different districts. Okay, let's obliterate the Aspen district from existence. Uh... Uh, yeah, there we go. Splendid. So now Green Hills is just there. Yeah, so that's all going to be... Uh, bar... Yeah, where's... Hang on, where's the where's the divide? Yeah, so this bit here... Do I want it to look quite like that? Hang on. Yes. That's fine. Or are we going to put houses in this bit? We're certainly not going to put houses in this bit. This is going to be all of the lovely, lovely woodland industry stuff. So let's drop all of those into there, like that. And what we'll do is, we should then go into there, into there, make that one of those. And then we'll come out of that, go into this thing, go to policies, put in smoke detector distribution on that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, this is good. This is good. So now we can do that. Some industry might then spring up over here, possibly. Although I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, you're a bus. I put a bus stop over there where there isn't anything yet. I was planning ahead. It's fine. So if we push time on, not that much call for business at the minute for industry. But it will come. It will come eventually. What's that? A quiet corner shop. Very good. There we go. Look. Little things are appearing. Little tiny industries. What's that? Ready sliced fruit. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh, water. Water, water, water. Yeah, they don't have water over this side. We need to sort that out. Give them some water, please. And across. And across to there. And that connects up. And beautiful. Right. Yep. Yeah, you'll have water in a sec. Hold on. There you go. Look. Plumbed in. I've plumbed you in. What are you? You're very green. Whatever you are, you're very green. Ready sliced fruit. Another ready sliced fruit. That, that, that just looks like a shed. That is just a shed with an orchard tree on it. That's not really that. What's that? Sunny grain. Ready sliced fruit. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. If that's ready sliced fruit. Oh no, that's Amy's Baking Company in a shed. Right. Amy, you're working out of a shed. Okay, that's fine. Then you've got ready sliced fruit. Oh, look at that. Yellow cornfields are a much better sight than uh, whatever it said there. Dirty something or others. I didn't see. Uh, where's like fertile land? Do we have any of that? Not really. Not in the area that we can see anyway. We've got ourselves some ore over that way. Which I don't know if we can get to or not from buying it. We've got an awful lot of forestry though. That is going to be our main kind of industry, isn't it? Forestry is going to be our big thing. And um, yeah, a bit of forestry there. Oh, some oil. A lot of oil up there. Could do oil at some point. But yeah, I like this so far. I like this. Oh, look. And there you go. Look, it's got the buildings. Remember to have a look at the newly unlocked building tram depot. I know. I know. There's so many exciting things. Um, we might need another fire station down here. Just to make sure that the whole thing doesn't explode and burn in flames. So if we put a fire station just there. That'll cost us a bit of money. But it will bring the fire risk down of all of these buildings. Beautiful. There we go. That's good. Oh, come on, Mayor. Doesn't the city board come up with anything more modern than farming? What's next? Horse, wagons. This isn't farming. This is forestry. That's entirely different to farming. Have I put farming? Have I have I zoned that out as a farming thing rather than a forestry thing? Because that's not going to work. That is not going to function. I've done it wrong. I've put it as farming. Oh dear. 
Uh, change it round. <laughs> Sorry, Amy's fruits, whatever it was. Maybe that's why the take-up was not quite as keen as I thought. Yeah, oh, they're all going to go out of business. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you haven't got some water. We need water on the edge. Okay, uh, to there. And down a bit. And then across. There we go. Lovely. Right. Sorry, everyone. Kind of got the wrong industry there. I was wondering why they were doing fruit. I did think fruit doesn't sound very forestry-ish. But no, there we go. Uh, can we have some actual people? A firehouse is there. Right, what's that? Fine furniture. That's far more woody. That's more woody than the previous buildings. Okay. And um, yeah, Amy, oh, Amy's Baking Company is still clinging on. They're still clinging on. Ready sliced fruit are still clinging on. But yeah, I think you might be going soon. There you go. You've gone. Uh, also, I realised in the last part I did say, oh, by the way, if you have a problem seeing at night, please let me know. I'm recording these parts pretty much back to back. Not exactly back to back. Uh, an hour or so has passed between them. But um, yeah, pretty much back to back. So um, I will take on all sort of uh, feedback and stuff from these two videos and use them for the next one. Yeah, I don't know if you can see properly at night time. That looks beautiful though. That looks tremendous. I really want to get big buildings in now. I really want to get big, tall, towering buildings in. So we're just going to have to do a fair bit of... a fair bit of sort of uh, urban sprawl going on. I'm tempted here to just do a big gritty bit just go grid houses 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 get all that done look at the demand for residential look at the demand people are frantic for some residential uh yeah people are leaving actually the weekly change it is coming down that's not that's not very encouraging okay um can we zone out any more residential over here can we get that done Right, is there going to be... Oh, no, we need to sort this out as well. The garbage has piled up. I think we need another another garbage-type thingamabob. Can we put that over here? Can we put it near this? Right, where is it? Uh, there! They're quite big, aren't they? Yeah, they're very big. They're ludicrously big. Why are they quite so vast? Uh, okay, can we put it... Uh, oh, no, that because it creates loads and loads of pollution. I don't want to pollute the nice areas that we've got. Uh, can we just tuck it there? Can we put it next to the other one? That would make perfect sense. The only thing is, can I get a road around the edge of there? Can I get a road around the edge of there? I bet I can't. I bet I cannot. Um, yeah, we want to get a road kind of going round from there, looping round to just there. But I don't know if that's even doable. Right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Curved road. Bring it out to the middle. Going out to say, uh, is that the right angle for it? And then bend it round like that. Hang on a minute. Right, there. That's Is that the line that we want to go to? There. I think that's about right. Bing. Put that in. Then go out again. So to say... Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, that's gone weird. There, like that. That's it. So like that. And then down like that. That will take out the power line. But we can sort that out shortly. We can sort that out in a moment. That looks sort of curved. Oh no, it's the furthest one. It's the furthest outer thing, there's the inner circle there. Ah, okay, right, so we need to bring it out a bit more. Kind of like that. Um, okay. Do you know what? Whatever. Yep, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> we Let's just do this thing. This should be okay, because it's all one big bit of road. So we should be able to do that. Go, no cars. And it should go blop, 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 blop and put it on all the other ones. Yay! Right, it's done that. That's nice. Um, we may need to... Let's turn that off. Uh, yeah, I can't... Do you know what? In the night or in the rain, it probably is actually quite hard to see what's going on. Because it's it's miserable and rainy as well. <laughs> it doesn't really help. So, um, yeah, we can't bring that round, though, can we? So I wonder if we can then tuck that thing over there. Just put it out the way. Just stick it out the way. Just to, you know, be grimy and horrible all on its own. Or can we tuck it round that side? No, not really. We can put it there. Ta-da! Splendid. And then what we might do is, if we go to the budget screen, if we just adjust the amount that goes into that, uh, the more vehicles I can send out. So if we give it 105, 105% funding, that might be enough for it to get another little, a little truck or two out of each of those to help tidy the garbage up. That's lovely. Right, okay. Okay, the sun's coming up. Let's just look at the sun coming up. Look at the sunrise. I'm gonna go down to the I'm gonna go down to the uh to the front. Go down to the front there. Have a little look what's going on. There we go. 
Down we go. We pass some ferns. Uh, how is the... Oh, look, the, the dock thing. That looks great. Um, how... Is the sun up in the sky already? I'm a bit confused because it seems to be very reflecty, yet I can't see the sun. Oh, I think it's just breaking through the clouds. Okay, now what do we want to do? So we have an awful lot of demand for residential. Residential. I'm kind of tempted to keep this now. Tempted to keep that for the high density stuff and get loads and loads of tall buildings over this side because it'd look good next to the sea. Uh, I'm tempted to build this bit up. Get this bit all constructed as gritty uh, and then just have a fairly, you know, a nice simple way around of doing it. Yeah, residential zone is very much in demand. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's fine. Right, we'll bring that over like that. And then, yeah, let's just go Let's just go gritty for this because it sort of maximises the amount of houses and stuff we can have. So we'll go like this. Do a couple of gritty bits like that. Just there. Then we could always connect up that. I don't want to do that because will that flatten that? Will that flatten that property that's next door? I don't think it will actually. No, there we go. That's connected. It's been connected up. Yay! Beautiful. Okay. And then we'll put a bit down like that. So that's still quite gritty. That could all be commercial stuff. I quite like that. We'll fill that in with commercial stuff. So that can be commercial. That can be commercial. All that can be residential. Loads of residential. Big blocks of it. Three massive hefty blocks of residential stuff. Right. Pipes. Pipety, pipety, pipes. Uh, I need to bring that down to say there. Um, we could always, yeah, do that to there. Bring that up to link up with a sort of a bit there. Now, can we get it so it covers everything? Yes, I think we can. Yeah, lovely. And do you know what? Just for the sake of it, bing. There we go. That would make sense. They do that in the real world. So, we've got a big block here for what we can do now with all this stuff. So, yeah, let's get ourselves a big pile of residential. Another big pile of residential with a thin bit of residential at the end. And a big bit there. And that can be commercial and commercial. The only thing is, are we going to need more services? Are we going to need like more police and stuff? Don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. So this should hopefully help with the, um, the amount of jobs as well. Because there's jobs going on in here. Oh no, there's a derelict building. Oh, no. Now, that should automatically demolish itself from one of the mods. There you go. Beautiful. Takes a little while, but then it actually does get on with it. Okay, people are moving in. People are moving in. Keep an eye on the power. Power is absolutely fine. Water is getting a little bit edgy. But, okay, it's not too bad right now. So, they're going to start using up all the water. Population will fly up. Population will go up. Surely, we're going to get over 4,000. When all that's full, we'll have over 4,000, won't we? Loads of stuff going on there. What are you? General stores. There's an awful lot of general stores. General stores and convenience stores and a drugstore. Are they all the same sort of thing? Are they the same sort of thing? Is a drugstore different to a pharmacy? How is that different? American people, tell me how a drugstore is different to a pharmacy. Or is it, you know, the same thing with a slightly different name? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, another drugstore. Really? That's a drugstore. This here, this is a drugstore. With, with tables and chairs outside. Okay. Weird. Does that happen? Is that an American thing? Or is this just the game being odd? There's an awful lot of car... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did not un unroadify these, did I? I did not ban cars on all our new roads. Never mind. We shall have to go and obliterate all the parked cars. Right. Let me go through and do these. Oh, it's so easy to forget when you just go, Yeah, I'm building a city. Yeah, I'm building a road. You kind of forget, even though I know it's part of the challenge. It's easy to overlook this. Right, let's go through. Let's do all these. Let's make them all nice and illegal to have cars on. Right, there we go. They've all been banned. So cars have all been banned from these roads. And I have removed... Yeah, there goes the van. I've removed all the parked cars as well using this sort of maintenance function thing. Okay, that's fine. So now this should start filling up. Oh, yes. 4,100. 4,129. 145. 153. It's going up. Right. Bicycle lane. Do you want to bring the bicycle lane down here? Do you want to sort of bring it this way? So it comes down to maybe the A? It comes down to the seafront. <gasps> Can we have a bicycle lane across the seafront? That would be good, wouldn't it? Having a bike lane across there. Oh, that would be tremendous. That would work very well. Um, No one moving in to here, I noticed. No, utterly no demand for business at all. So for residential. Residential. Industry. It's one of the three. 
not at all in any way, shape or form. Even though it's on really good, really good sort of fertile land. No, no that's different, isn't it? Fertile land. Really good forestry land. Really good tree land. Nobody wants to move in there. I guess there is absolutely no demand for um for industry, however. Okay, that's fine. It'll come back round. It'll come back round eventually. Uh, water. Yep. Water consumption is almost 100 out of 120,000. So, yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay with that. Population has absolutely flown up from that. Just those simple blocks just there. Just those little simple blocks of housing has added so much stuff. So much stuff. They're working day and night on Gek. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, yes. Maybe they'll maybe they'll take one to a vault, possibly. I don't know. Shall we look at... We've got so much money. We've got so much money. Shall we build another public transport thing? I'd like it to stop raining, if I'm completely honest. Can we turn off the weather? The dreadful weather? Am I in the UK? Um, how about we get ourselves a tram? We could get a tram in, couldn't we? They're special bus lanes. We don't really need bus lanes. Four lane bus lane things. That's fine. This here is, if we pause it, have a look. A tram depot costs 40 grand, but we could always get ourselves a tram depot in. I think that this looks good fun. This looks like it could be very interesting. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Don't know how this is going to work. Like, which way in do the trams go? I really have no idea. What does it look like? Can I, ro can I rotate it round? Can I look at it as it rotates? I would say... Oh, I don't know which way is the front or the back. It seems to be determined to put it that way. Right, there's a, got to be a road bit. Uh, ah, right. The bit there near the headphones thing is where the trams are going to come out, presumably. I'm guessing. So the trams, what, go onto the road side? Do they? Would a tram go onto a road side? I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know. I'm a bit confused. I'm very confused. So then what happens with the trams then? So we've got a two-lane road with tram tracks. Uh, two-lane one-way road with tram tracks. Okay, so everyone's going the same way with the tram tracks. That's too big. Four-lane road with tram is too big. A tram track, just on its own. A standalone tram track with rails for both directions. Or a one-way tram track. Okay. How about... Now, can we, can we upgrade a bit of road? Could we say get trams going through the middle? Going through here and down and say to here. And then round and up here with a tram route. That would be cool, wouldn't it? So replace the mud road in, the, the long walk in. Replace that with trams. Is it possible? Let's have a little look. So can we replace that with a tram track? Will it be the same width? Um, do we want it to go one way? No, I don't think we need to go one way particularly. This is two ways in and out of the town. I don't want to come in and then, yeah, I don't want to force traffic down this way. So, oh no, space is already occupied. Just there. Um, what's, what is occupying that? Oh, a little tiny bit of one of those car parks is poking out. Do you know what? We could always get rid of that. We can always get rid of that. However, is that going to affect anything else? What about when we're in the middle? No, I don't think it does look. It's fairly expensive to do. It's fairly expensive to do. We could get a tram. We could get a tram going. Oh, no, it would mean knocking down a few things. Oh, yeah, look, that, that little thing there is sitting quite far forward. So, yes, yeah, so we'd lose a few. We'd lose a few things. Oh, we'd lose... No, okay, we can't have that just there. We'd lose our cycle lane, and I'm not losing that. That's my favourite thing. <laughs> favourite thing. We can have it going down behind here. Down there, look. Coming round on the curved bit. And up there. Uh, lose a house there. Whatever. That's fine. We can lose a few little houses because it means we get trams and that's just exciting. Okay. So what? How does this work? How does this work? There's some pointy arrows. Some pointy arrows. I don't know what the pointy arrows mean. First thing we need to do is uh, obliterate that. Goodbye. I'm about to destroy that structure. Yes, I'm absolutely certain. Boom. Oh, and some people are sad. But never mind. You'll have to just get over it, won't you? Um, how does this work then? How do I connect them to the line? I don't fully understand how that works. Building must be placed roadside. So what if we placed it there? Where do the trams come out? Like, how? where's, where's the tram door? I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Or do the trams go into that little knobble bit which is sticking out the top? Uh, okay, do you know what? Let, let's just let's just press enough buttons and see what happens. Or can we have it in the middle with the bus depot? 
Can we have it slotting into the middle? I don't think it wants to slot into the middle at all. I don't think that works. <laughs> I don't think it likes it. No, it doesn't like the car part being just there. It, it's okay being just there, as long as we demolish all the power lines. Well, it was. Okay, it's no longer okay. But, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there. We could put it there, and that would obliterate the power lines. But, do you know what? We could just go round the edge of the power lines. So, uh, oh, we could put it right there. Do that. Let's put a tram thing in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm completely making this up now. I, I haven't got a clue what's happening. Okay, uh, power. Reroute the power going to there, round the back of here, to uh, just... Oh, no, I don't even need to do that. As long as it's within this sort of power sphere thing with Bob here, this blue bit, it should all be fine. Okay, right. So, wow, trams are coming to the city. Yeah, don't hold your breath. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make this work. Okay, trams. Two-lane road. Uh, there's arrows pointing in all sorts of crazy directions. I have no idea. I'm going to press the button and see what happens. Okay. Oh, look. Right. Look. The, the, there's a tram line thing. There's some cars there already. Who, who bought their car? Did you not get the memo? Right. If we upgrade these roads... Oh, this is tremendous. Okay. So now they're being upgraded with tram lines on them. So can we... Could we just do this for to start with? Just to see how it works. Upgrade all of this at fairly great expense, I will I will add. That to there, that to there, that to there. Okay. So now is that some sort of loop? Is that a is that a tram loop? I don't really know how trams do their thing. I would say that should loop round, shouldn't it? What's that there? What 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 does that mean? Why is there a thingy line there? Don't really know what that means. Okay, that comes round. The trams are going to go back up that way on the right-hand side because it's right-hand on this particular game. And it's going to come up here. They're going to drive all the way to the top of here and then go right up here and then go right and then go into the station. So I think that's fine. I don't know kind of what that's sort of alarming me about. But okay, let's come out of that. Oh, oh what's that? Is that a bus route? Have I killed a bus route somehow? Uh, yes, I might well have broken a bus route terminus thing just there. Um, okay, buses, get that. Um, can we put dra drag a stop to move it? Create a new line. What is that? I just want to adjust this line. What is that doing? Hang on, right, let me look into this. I'm not sure what's happening. Right, I just had to drag that stop onto the other side of the road. I think it was on that side of the road and it was getting confused. So I put it on this side of the road... And it all seems to be fine. I don't fully understand whatever that is. Um, it's just a loop going round. Uh, it goes... Oh, I see. It goes all the way round. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Does it flash on off whichever route it is? Oh, it's quite a big route. Okay, well, that's fine. That's okay. Right now... So if, can we go to trams? So how is this going to work? So the tram is going to come out of here. So purple is a new tram line. So we want to get people up here, really. Because this is where they're going to be getting off and parking their cars so we want to make sure they can get the thing there and then i know we'll then don't into the stops until say just there and then bring that back to, hang on can we just complete that uh hang on let's pick up uh there and then go to there complete that line does that now mean that a tram is going to be going around the place because if it is that is oh yes <laughs> there's a tram Oh, and it's purple. I don't know why I'm so excited it's purple, but it's purple. And that's just tremendous news. Hang on. Normal time. There's a little tram. Oh, I've got a tram. This is tremendous. Hello, tram. That's brilliant. Oh, look at it. <laughs> so good. Okay. So we've got a tram doing its thing. There we go. And look, we've got proper roads. Proper roads coming into the city now, everyone. It's not just mud sort of dirt tracks anymore. There is an actual proper road. Okay. This is very cool. He's going to come along here. He's going to stop. Now, probably nobody's going to get used to the tram at the minute. Because it's only just appeared. People are going to be like, going, what? There's a tram? Okay, fine. It's going to come past the bus. And it's going to go through the middle. And all the way back up. We've got trams. We've got trams. I'm very excited. <laughs> I like the trams. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Uh, where are you going, by the way? Where are you going? Why do you think that cars are suddenly permitted... 
Cars are not suddenly permitted in this place. Uh, ah, it's overwritten all of the... How can I not... Can I not do the car? Oh, I can. Oh, good. Right, that one I did allow. Um, okay, right, no cars. No cars. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. So, oh, is it done it on all those roads that we've just upgraded as well? Have I got to go through and redo all those roads that we just replaced? Or has it kept the... No, look, the one at the bottom. So when we go through and replace all the roads for the new trams, we are going to actually have to make sure that we, um, yeah, we replace, we redo this. So we can have cars up to there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, well, that can, yeah, you can have cars there. That's fine. Cars are acceptable there. Cars are acceptable on that one. Uh, but that's it. Okay, and then we'll go into the thing. We'll go into uh, options, maintenance, re remove parked vehicles for now. That'll do for now. I mean, yeah, it does black the car park and stuff, but it's fine. It removes all the parked vehicles. Okay, so we've got a tram line, and it's just poodling about doing cool tram things. I once want to get on the tram. I feel a bit sad that there's nobody using the tram. How many people have used a tram? Nobody. Nobody's used our tram. I am probably paying an absolute fortune to have this tram line running. And nobody's using it. However, it doesn't go to the most useful of places. It just loops around there. So then what we'll do is we'll get tram lines going through the city. We'll get tram lines going through. We'll get a big tram line coming through maybe down here into there. What does that mean? What's that mean? It's got a weird shape thing. Hang on. What's that about? Not enough buyers for products. I don't know how to rectify that problem. I really don't know. Do we need to get some more... Do we need like a boat connection or something? Maybe we can look at that next time. Get boats down here or something. Get a nice boat thing, like a dock or something. I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. There's a thing about um, canals somewhere. Where's that? Is that in the landscaping tool? Uh, is that that's rocks? There, look. Canals. Flood wall. If your canals have spots that are prone to flooding, you can use flood walls to control the water. Oh my goodness me. So yeah, shallow canal... Or a medium canal. Medium canals can be used in areas where shallow canals aren't deep enough to get water. You just stretch a medium canal. Oh, that just looks very complicated. But ferries. Ferries can come in and do stuff. Do we want to get a canal coming through, say, there? Along here and this way to here? And then we build ourselves some, some things that go on the end of one of those? <laughs> what goes on the end of one of those? What do we put on the end of that? A canal thing. A boat connector. What goes on there? I swear I've seen something to do with it. Oh, it's in transport. Uh, and boats, in fact. So we can't have a harbour. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? We can't have a cargo harbour. Definitely can't have a cargo harbour. Uh, cargo hub, we most definitely can't have. Ferry depot, though. Ferry depot is where ferries stay between work shifts and are sent to lines automatically. The maximum amount of vehicles per line is handled by the budget. Ferries do not act as stops and cannot be connected to lines. Ferries need to be able to find their way to the lines from the depot. What? I don't know what any of that means. They don't act to stops and can't be connected to lines, but they need to find their way to the lines from the depot. Well, if they can't be connected to lines, how do they find their way to the lines? I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, a ferry stop. And then there's a ferry pier. So that's for two. That's for two ferries. So what do they do? They just sit on the edge. They just sit on the edge, do they? Well, they sit quite nicely on our little wall bit there. I mean, can we build some of those next time? If we can play stops and piers, you need to have a depot. Okay. Oh, this is very exciting. We're getting some more public transport thing in. Let's get boats in next time. More boats. Maybe that can bring in... I don't know. I don't know what boats will do. Bring in more goods or something? I've no idea. But we're certainly going to get some boats because that looks fun. We've got trams. We've got boats. We have got a great big expansion just here. We need to get a little bit more... We can get to 5,000 population, and that is going to be very good, because that is going to unlock all sorts of lovely things. All of the roads, the roads can all start being upgraded to these things, because that's 5,000. Look, two-lane roads with trees. We have lots of lovely tree-lined roads. It will look gorgeous. We can have lots of other nice things as well. We need to flesh this out a bit. We need to build more housing. That's what we need. We need residential stuff pretty much urgently, so we might put that down there. In fact, you know what? Let's do that now. But that is it for right now. I think I've waffled on long enough on this particular one. So, uh, yeah, I'm still enjoying this. I, I do like this. I like the no cars bit of it. I know that um, uh, some people have said that, oh, but one of the main things of Skylines is that it's a very good car simulator. I know that, but, you know, we've, we've, we've blatted cars. We've eliminated cars from this. So, you know, just as something a bit different because a city relies on cars, really. So can it work without cars? It's not a straightforward... 
you have to build little bits, I think. You have to build little bits over here to then support the industry that's nearby. But you know what? I think it's entirely plausible. I think it's very, very doable. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. So next time out, maybe get some boat stuff in. We'll sort the tram lines out. And then I think... Uh, what, what population was that? That's oh, 7,500. We might have to start building some more residential stuff. I mean, do you want to buy that bit of land? Build another residential kind of block over there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we feel next time out. But that's it for now. If you are still enjoying this, which I hope you are, because I certainly am, please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in Cupboardtopia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Right, everyone. Give me your money. Give me all the monies. The music is very sinister. Not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot. Catapult man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not the wall is coming down. Oh god, some of them are huge. Oh god, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermill.